Not as bad as it used to be, but 75% of Hoboken is in the 100 year flood plain. And I would say about 20% of it is at or below mean high tide. We were in existence in 1989. We didn't own the sewer system until 1997. But when we took over the operation of the sewer system, every time it rained, streets flooded and we couldn't, the sewer system was running. We couldn't figure out why. And then we looked at the elevations and we said, we need to pump this water out of here. Pump station has been in operation since 2011 and has been doing a fantastic job of maintaining and reducing street flooding as well as discharging CSOs. Even during regular rain events, these pump stations are operational all the time. So they can operate 24-7, 365. One of the unique things about the control system is there's actually surge predictor programming built in. Uh, to the station. So not only do we monitor the flows and operate the pumps, but we look at it on a time base and try to stay ahead of a flood event. The pump station's design was designed around the local environment and some historic buildings that were uh, built already in the 1800s near the pump station. The idea was to actually use all of the advantages we could for the hydraulics and the flight pumps put them below grade so that basically they were quiet and out of sight uh, so that the public actually, if when they drive over them, they don't even know that they're there. Uh, the pumps that we used for Hoboken project are axial flow pumps, submersible pumps. These are very high flow pumps. And submersible construction means that the motor is submersible and the whole unit will be underwater. And the big benefit of that for the customer is, like the city of Hoboken, they have a high population. There is no room for additional constructions and building pump houses. The next thing we tackled was a very low spot in uh, central Hoboken, around Madison and 9th Street. It's in mid Hoboken, it drains uh, at through 11th Street. So we built a completely underground, controls everything, underground pump station because it's in the flood zone. H5 is situated in a high-end uh, residential community. Tops on their list is they didn't want to see anything after it was done. So uh, the whole control um, building for the pump station is below grade and its entrance is in the middle of a uh, center median with plantings all around it. So you could drive by it a hundred times and never even see it. and it just reached the point where it breached the seawalls and it rushed into Hoboken from the north end and from the south end. And, and the way Hoboken is situated, it's sort of a bowl in the back of the city. Uh, and it just rushed around and filled that bowl and, and there, was, there was four feet of, of water on, on all the streets. And you know, that night I was in the H1 pump station. Now this was shortly after the, the pump station went online. I mean, the pumps were, were terrific. I had one running full blast. Afterwards, it was just, we had to keep that pump running to get to help get the water out of the city. Shortly after the pump went online, we needed a way to kind of assess how effective it was at keeping the, the streets from flooding. We commissioned a report from a company called MNET. They came in, they put a lot of flow sensors throughout the system. And basically what they showed over six months of data was uh, 36 events where the pumps actually turned on. So the pumps, in, during those six months, we had enough rain on the street where it would have flooded the city out. Uh, and it turned out that we only saw some flooding uh, in four of those events now, where otherwise it would have been 36. So the results were very clear that the pump station was doing its job and, and keeping the water off the streets. We partnered with Hoboken. They received a $220 million grant to uh, build a, a flood barrier. Uh, one in South, one in North Hoboken. Uh, we've worked with them on that, and actually we're building a third pump station, uh, partnering with Hoboken again. They're building a one million gallon storage tank. Uh, it's a long-term control plan project for us in the sense that it's gonna reduce overflows, but it's also a flood control project. Those are big plans. I mean, we're, we, as I said before, we're, we are a small authority. Our relationship with the authority goes back almost 30 years. Today, mostly all of their stations are flight 
pumps. We have a contract with our local uh, flight reps and they're out here, they pull the pumps once a year, do all the maintenance uh, that's required on an annual basis and that's pretty much it for maintenance. There's, there's not a lot to do with these pumps as long as you keep up with the annual inspections. Uh, they're online and they work. Flight pumps are very robust and we've actually used them in many designs over the years. It's been a good partnership.